Greetings everyone, and great here for another Company Rose 1 replay. Spawn on the north side as the Veramok player of Mr. Sleeze. Spawn as his Panzer Elite teammate, we have Fat King. Spawn on the south side as the British forces, we have you have Brains. Shenasteld? Shadastel? Shadastin? I have no idea what that actually means. Spawn on as his teammate. As the US player, we have run into my skill. Looks like we got some early trash talking going on. On kind of grad course comes to the fuel point. Brit forces pushing me forward, maybe trying to set up his 40 HQ in this region. Another interesting section deployed on now. He's wanting to go for a left tent now. Bear my quarters, not big surprise. We've got a forward barracks here as well. And that scope rifle being knocked around by the Kettengrad. And doing this will delay any sort of forward advancement of the 4HQ. You may be uh, thinking that it's going to try to go for it right there. It looks like the scope rifle is going to go straight to H into the building. And I think the Panzer Grenadiers are trying to get in there as well. But I was running some issues there. On this side, there are no windows. So he's able to engage this side. Engage the squad inside with impunity. He needs to get back around that corner. Asking for repairs. Okay, yep, that was the cutting grad that needed repairs. Cutting grad is pushing away forward, or Pants Grand is pushing away forward, and trying to get in the garrison now. But looks like the, uh, nope, looks like Pants Grand Deers get inside the garrison this time. Around this corner, there's no windows as well, so one Pants Grand could go and support his buddy. As the other one is firing away at this squad here. Shrimpbog is now makes his way forward, trying to get engagements onto that scope rifle squad. And going for a forward HQ, a fast forward HQ, it does do a bit of a handout right there, swap out. And it looks like the Shrimpbog has now received quite a bit of fire. Ford HQ has pointed out. He needs to get out a Ford healing as soon as possible. Let's see. Yep, Ford HQ healing now. Very, very good. Schirmbogen now firing away. Pioneer trying to repair it up. But now these Panzergrenadiers will stay around the region for a very long time. The Brit has not deployed out Ford HQ just yet. Does get a Brennan carrier now. Packing up the HQ. We've got a left tent in this region, but we've got two and two intersections and one rifleman. Panzer Grenadiers, if you have to force a forward healing, forward HQ, but they're going to get ripped apart. They need forward reinforce, uh, reinforcements. Turnbog is firing away. Got his teammates MG42. Maybe he'll find an angle on this rifle squads. He does suppress the intersection. He's going to load up the intersection in the back of the friend carrier. Very good. He's going to start getting his rifleman now. The rifle squads are suppressed. Does load in the Panzer Grenadier inside the garrison as well. Left hand fine trying to engage at close range. He does find an angle there away from the MG42 with his rifle and squad, but the Shrimp Wagon may maintain the suppression there. Let's hop inside the garrison with the Pants Grenadiers. And Kenograd does get some good body block there. And he's trying to recover the Kenograd while in combat. And you know, I think the Kenograd will go down. He's trying to crawl away. He does go out of control now. MG42 has repositioned. Trying to body block the red carrier there with tank traps with his uh, pioneers. He's being successful. That's going to uh, pass Grenadiers back inside the garrison. Try to go for decapture there with the lieutenant. Was unsuccessful. And there goes the red carrier as well. And now this right uh, intersection squad will get ripped apart. Intersection squad may get fully wiped. There's a lot of uh, squalls in the retreat path. Up here, we do have the rifle squad trying to capture that fuel point. Does to capture that fuel point. And the Panzer Grenadiers are outside the healing uh, of the sector right there. He's getting uh, that fixed. Pioneers. Oh, he's actually stopped on the uh, uh, scope rifle squads there. And he's body blocking them by dancing the Schimmwagen around. And he may wipe it out with his Pioneers. He does wipe it out Pioneers. That's a pretty good loss right there. Rifleman squads coming on ways forward, trying to hit the uh, MG42. Mortar now seeing quite a bit of fire. Rifleman squad or intersection squad make it wiped out. Uh, another one make it wiped out. Left hand is severely wounded as well. Pack up there. HQ does lose the the intersection. How much does he have left? He's lost quite a bit. He has no intersections. Only has a left tenant. 
He has a base MG, and that's it. He may want to go for some commandos at the current rate. Mortar has been claimed by his opponent. U.S. player has three riflemen, two engineers. Yeah, that's a massive loss. Going for another intersection, which makes sense. Intersection is on fancy core, trying to get some shots there on the Schimwagen. Lieutenant is falling on back, but may get ripped apart by the Schimwagen. Shim does go and pack up the HQ in order to do a retreat move to his teammate's HQ. We'll need to redeploy the course. He's prone to beginning engine damage to this low health there, but so far he's been a bit unlucky. He's actually been a bit unlucky even being hit onto it. Snipers, two Vermox snipers have deployed on all the field, forcing back the intersection now. Over here, we do got a US engineer here with a single pioneer to capture that point. Snipers backing away. Do you got the Panzer Grenadiers advancing forward? Something deployed out by this HQ. Another infantry section because he needs it. Oh, he probably pinged the jeep there, trying to alert his teammates, snipers, to stay away from it because. Deeps are uh, very effective versus snipers. He is going to fall back to this nearby healing. That healing will come in handy for quite a bit. Trying to dance around, trying to avoid the 30 cal. Let's get an engine crit there. And the sniper severely wounded. But the Panzer Grenadiers do take it out. Try to camouflage right there. Let's get those guys back and healing, especially that one. Scope Rifle Squad trying to charge forward, trying to. Boy well, doesn't need to marks him there, but does get forced back. Going for armor car. Good idea. Most of the time that it's generally not a bad idea for armor car for Panzer Elite. It seems it's going for pack 38, which is also very good. That's probably it building now. Down south, and we got the rifle squad engaging the Kentigrad. I don't know if there's any been doctrines been selected just yet. The Brit doesn't appear to have selected any doctrines, nor does have the US player. The Panzer League player may have selected doctrine. One command point. Could be Teller Mines? That's my guess. Teller Mines. Definitely not uh, Luftwaffe ground forces, that's for sure. But it could be Teller Mines. It could be uh, Booby Trap Points. Do we see any Booby Trap Points? We do not. So I'm not sure what it could be at the moment. And his teammate has not selected Doctrine either. Baramok Sniper is now engaging. Panzer Grenadiers are falling back a little bit. We do have these two scope rifle squads advancing forward. Greyhound advancing forward. And now we do have the Schumbach now receiving quite a bit of fire. These uh, tank traps are not f uh, fully built. He needs to cancel them. There are his tank traps, and those his own tank traps are body blocking him. Lucy does manage to fall back in time. Don't see repairs on the Shimvagon from the Ketigrad, so it likely has not gone for armor. Or not armor, tank hunter. So I think he's gone for Scorched Earth. That's just a protection, however. And Scorched Earth is usually a staple either way. Fresh pack 38 deployed out on the field. We have reached a bunker. Fresh MG bunker. Very nice. Probably going not MG bunker. Probably gonna be a repair bunker. There's plenty of munitions for it. A couple bunkers being deployed out, likely repair bunkers. Oh, the bird has like a doctrine. Hmm. Go ahead, sir. Sappers. Don't see any placements. 
but can't tell he's gone. And there's no ability selected either. He had two command points, so it could have gone for Bro Engineers, uh, improved emplacements, advanced fortifications, or he could have gone for a lot of Royal Artillery items. I guess he's gone for Royal Artillery. What the main thing he's saying? Up here, scope rifles trying to engage the Krieg's barrack. Not sure what he's going to do with the scope rifle squad right here. I guess his teammates sends two to two to deal with them. Lieutenant right there, scope rifle squad advancing forward. Pack 38 is in a weird position there. That is Teller Mines. So he's gone for Tank Hunter. As a player has gone for Tank Hunter. So my prediction of Scorched Earth was wrong. And now do you have 25 pounder? High likely. Let's see. Do we see boards here? It's probably Gun going to be Roar Artillery. I think he pinged there saying I'll go. Looks like maybe another pack that they being queued on up. And no boards there, so he's very, very like he's gone for Scorched Earth. 25 pounders now running up a barrage. Perhaps onto this HQ. Yep, he's going straight for the HQ now. You have one repair bunker. This one's an MG bunker, actually. The artillery is running on now. MG42 is packing on, pack on up, falling on back. Rifle squad and scope squad does fall back. You got a landmine being put out there. Could be could have been spotted. And landmine was now spotted by definition. Let's fall back both of the squads. We're seeing quite a bit of fire there. Could use four designated marksman on top of that one man squad, but does not. Do Vermox snipers there? He's trying to go for a kill there. Does use suppressive fire ability. And now do have some all star artillery raining on it. It is definitely war artillery. His teammate has selected an unknown doctrine, or a not even a doctrine just yet. Does spot the 25 pounder, maybe trying to hit it. 2 2 is advancing forward. You have the Greyhound, the Regent, Pack 38 gains pace there on the 25 pounder as well. And the Grandiers and snipers can't really pull back the tide of infantry units. Pack 38 will go down. Pack 38, another Pack 38 does find a hit there onto the M8. Mortar half track will need to fall back, getting overran a bit. Or retreat by the various Axis infantry. Continue so skirmish around, have plenty of health, gain good damage on in. Pack 38 rotating its gun around at the 2 to 2s. There's there onto the 2 to 2s and they fall back as well. Does take out the. What's gonna call it? Shimbogen. 35 pounder raining on in. Mortar half track received quite a bit of damage as well. Get to advancing forward. Looks like the AT gun actually got destroyed by a it's infantry mortar. Very nice. And the rifle squad does get forced back as well. The infantry mortar is actually damaging the gun as well. I think saying we are okay. There's no W. Casualties being reported. Oh. Base is under attack. Nice war from the barrage there. Getting some good hits. It looks like a good engine print there from the mortar onto the M8. Very nice. Infuse are making the way forward. I guess not. Maybe yes. Probably a good idea just to kill the pack. Trying to push Russian forward, trying to claim that pack 38. Let's do a heroic charge slow. 
no snipers in the region, so it's heroic charging into the pioneers and to auto cannon fire. As grenades in this region, so these guys won't stay around for all too long. We also got, got some ox artillery raining on in onto the Ford HQ. One of the two does get an engine crit there. There's three twos out coming out of the field. One of them relatively fresh that has one kill at the moment. Warframe may receive some hits there. Greyhounds advancing forward. Oh, those lose the two, one of the twos. Pack 38 has not been destroyed just yet. Sort of hard to see behind that uh, foliage. Does we recapture now with a rifle squad? Both these teams are severely wounded and got 25 pounder barrage now raining this region. They generally just need to stay out of this region. There's a couple landmines help cover the retreat and they are at a teller mine. But they need to avoid any combat right now. They're a bit wounded and out of position. Nothing really to deal with the Greyhound directly or even indirectly. There's this telemine. You may want to. Oh, there's a Hetzer right there. It's sort of hard to see. Let's get a good hit there on the Greyhound. Now, Scopecraft is charging forward, trying to hug the Warfarmen. Pioneers are trying to uh, use some bullets to sway them, saying that's unsafe. Stop trying to hug a moving vehicle. And they're getting forced back. They were maybe trying to go with the snipers there? I don't know what they were doing. Pack 38 pushes away forward, has to be careful about the Teller Mine. Over oh, here, another ATS or has gone out. And now we do have Armor Doctrine, so we've got Tank Hunter, Armor, Royal Artillery, and... For the Vermont player, on an unknown Doctrine at the moment. Does that have been a manpower sword up? And here comes a war from Embrage. 25 pounder has received uh, actually death from that Warframe Barrage. Very good Warframe Barrage there. Please push away forward. We do have two Warframe's, two Pack 38's, both in the C2, of course, which that's they say the same Special C level. So maybe going for a defense for some more Special C2 Black 88's. He has charged on forward as well, scope rifles as well. Nocular is raining on him. Let's go for a wide bit of fire right there. Scope Rock Squad does fall back. Pants Grenadier is trying to engage. Scope Rock is trying to decapture this point here. Now it's just only the Captain, Lieutenant, and a wounded Piet Squad. Piet Squad trying to advance forward, but these two two squads just ripped them apart. Captain does go down to the auto cannon fire. And now we do have veteran C3 vehicles for the Vermont player. I do believe at this point in time, games, getting out some flat gates would be best. We're going to try and charge forward with some sticky bomb. Assuming he has sticky bomb, or he may not even have sticky bomb research just yet. Another Warfarm upgrade, so he's got him. Oh, the other half track vessel wasn't upgraded to Warfarm but now we do have the 251 half tracks being pursued by the Staghelm. Pretty much, yes, Staghelm, not Command Tank. And great hits there onto the Staghelm now. Factor 8 just gets. And yeah, dead Staghelm. Intersex trying to charge on 4. Does have to love 10 gifts support them as well as a PX squad. But overall, they're just getting a lot of. of they're just getting a Tristan down by these two two twos. Let's drop a Piet there. Officer does pick it up and it does fall back. Panzer command completed. Fresh Panzer command deployed on out. And that's near. That's his uh, teammate space. Double. And I've got another war from garage raining on in. And the ATX or it does get some good shots there. That is a US landmine. Veterans Let's get veteran one veteran veteran C one infantry squads, not support squads. 
Doctrine? None. <laughs> Can you go for a V1? Alrighty then. Firestorm's now available. Needs a little bit more air command point. Gonna stay on the head, sir. Infantry squad's advancing forward. Of course, this Piet, uh, Sapper only has one Piet. The other Piet's really held by the lieutenant. You have some Knights Cross who spawn on the field. That's why he went for the C1 infantry squad. This went for his soon to be. Ooh, good kill there on the sniper, but designated marksman. But now he's gonna go for our Knights Cross transition. And he doesn't have any more sniper left. But wouldn't be half bad to get that more support uh, units just in case for his uh, pioneers to get. Yield up. Greyhound has a bit of fire, needs some repairs. Versus C1 as well. They're losing territory. And money if the gun finds a good hit there onto the armor car, does blitz away. Do still have the repair bunker back here as well. Squad does get four some back, seeing some uh, more attrition damage. The Rackman squad is receiving a bit of fire. Hetzer and all the cars are forward. The Hetzer does receive a hit there. Trying to focus down the Greyhound. A satchel uh, sticky bomb onto the Dutu does get fully immobilized. Good is there onto the Greyhound. Greyhound does roll up and miss. The Greyhound's one shot away from death. Does go down. Does we're all bounce uh, before it dies. You have a slip trench here that's not fully built. He wants now available, but they're pretty low munitions. Of course, you don't really need a high munitions income to maintain V1, V1 rocket runs because the cooldowns are so absurdly high. For good reasons why it's absurdly high. Can you crew your packs? Where are the packs right now? There's one. He actually doesn't. He has to. Have to okay, he does have a Volkswagen Deer squad for recruiting them. Nice crossover. See a bit of fire there. Barrage raining on in, trying to hit these forces. It, it looks going to be successful, in my opinion. Get some great hits there. It does lose force in the back, at least. Firefly has pulled on out. Make it some good hits there on the armor car. Does get a hit there. Ooh, good hit there. Our forward supply lines are broken. Rifle squads have seen a bit of damage. Armored cars also seen some hits. Yeah, Rolls a miss there on the 2 2 Flamer Pioneers trying to get some good hits there on the Knights Cross Holders. Flamer Engineers is going to be captured with the Central VP. We do got a rifle squad here. Sapper with a. Uh, one P it looks like. Yeah, just one P it. And two US snipers. US snipers find a pair of shots at the Knights Cross Holders, only getting some, a lot of damage onto them. And two, no, just one of the Knights Cross Holders are being burned alive. The Warframe and Barrage raining on in. Force back these force schemes, but hits there onto the Firefly. The Knights Cross Holder may have been wiped out. No, it has retreated back. Fresh Knights Cross Holders advancing forward. I'm not sure where a good spot for a V1 would be. Definitely on top 25 pounder. That looks like a good spot right there. Put it right here to take out the uh, casualty clearing station or the triage center. That's actually the US triage center. And take out the 25 pounder and severely damage the other buildings. Crossroads are behind some good heavy cover there. And I've got an amber alert on my phone. Half 
after I've seen a bit of fire there, these horses start falling on back. And next cross holders are a bit wounded there. They're on top of the train car, which sounds like a great spot if you want to hide behind heavy cover. And now the rifle squad is seeing a bit of fire, but I think they should win out versus the riflemen or the knights cross holders. Two Panzer squads along the flank are heads of both of the two, getting some good damage, moving away the infantry forces. Workmen are raining on in, V1 still ready. Firefly down. Notice the next cross order suit went out for the rifleman squad. I think he pinged the bar there for pickup. B1 coming. Nice cross orders right there. It's spotting. Not so sure where. Let's see where he's going to poke it. All right, right here. Yep. Definitely going to be right here. Fresh firefly being deployed on out. Let's not push these four officers towards the B1. And steer may go down. Let's take out the uh, 2500 missed the trio center mostly. Morphin squads so will need to fall back. Firefly squad is pursuing them. We've got the head source and the Pantrix along the flanks as well. Memory is also tank hunter, so eventually we'll get double Pantrix. Not sure if he has at the moment. And that may be a dead Firefly if he has, especially if it's double Pantrix. And that was a dead uh, Firefly without double Pantrix. And looks like the uh, Rick player has back the on the game. And so that's going to be the end of the replay. And there we go. That's the end of the replay. This is Anna Great Scene. Thank you for watching. On to the next replay.